Hey, welcome everyone. This video is about the new climbs, I mean removed climbs, in Lakeville, Steps, and last but not least, Sacred Valley, yeah that's the one, in 9.20. Um, climbs got butchered on like almost all the maps, only the more useless or obscene ones, they are still there, but other than that, they've been removed as far as I know. Well, of course, I've tested it out, like, <laughs> yeah, much fun, many walls, so whoa. I just should be going and edit meme stronghold videos because ugh, climbing is going to die. It's a painfully slow death and it just makes me sad. In the background you saw D0, one of the few climbs, if you can, if you can say climbs. Don't get banned for it though, Kappa. Next up, A9. And in A9 you can see me smashing into a wall. I'm not even trying, I'm just pointing out the wall and boom, there you go. One of my most favorite ones, B3, just a wall. Okay. Yeah, but that's not the only way of going up the middle ridge. And there's a wall to an F4. Really nice. At least I've built some super nice memes and videos and memories going up that ridge. It was always a dream from the startup. From when I first started playing on Lake Fives like <gasps> I wanna get up that lake. Uh, that little uh, ridge. Little I mean big ridge. This little ridge on J eight can be climbed and I was hoping J nine would be climbable too, but no. Like almost halfway up is not good enough for that one. It if you go all the way up then you can shoot down the lane and stuff. Uh, next up we have steps. Oh man, I have so much to talk about. A3. The funny thing is, with steps, the esports scene changed. They removed all the climbs, spoilers. But not only that, but they changed the the steps map to Sand River. Probably because even Wargaming acknowledges that the climbs are imbalanced, but they actually make for a really competitive scene, or like an interesting competitive scene when they're there. So, without the climbs, steps just becomes an open map with some spotting and you get stagnant games. I don't know, like weird compositions, probably. So they just decided, you know what, fuck it. We're, we'll just remove the climb from, or the, the map from the pool. GG, easy, that's way better. And as you can see, even the B01, the new one, got patched with the wall. I just love it, man. Oh, you don't know how to fucking climb? Well, you don't have to worry about it. There's walls everywhere telling you where you can and can't go. Even K3. Oh. I had to attempt that many times in order to show the wall properly. But yeah. Oh, this is also nice, yeah. I'm starting at uh, A9. Trying to dodge the wall. Like, you can see to my right, I'm like, okay, let's try it. Oh, man, really? <laughs> but I'm just trying to get to the other side, to the left and off the screen right here. It's just so annoying that the walls just don't give you any sort of traction. I'm just about Sacred, uh, about Sacred Valley in general. Climbs got patched. Well, people know that. Like, the E9 got patched. Um, not only with, with uh, rocks, but all, also with walls. There's a new way, well, a kind of new way, of going up. I will show that too in this video. And there's also another way on C9, if I recall correctly. It's really hard, and I'll get to that eventually. Also, H3 is possible. Still need to do that, but it just takes time, you know, like <sighs> going into the twinning room and the time that I just don't have currently. And now you just see me driving around like a lunatic. Which is fine, I think I'll just skip this part. Next up we have B0. People were like, oh you have a so way, way easier way of going up. Well, fuck you. <laughs> it's patched now. And here you have B3, you're like, oh that's okay. Oh, oh well, that, that's less okay. Okay, my tank just uh, humps the wall. And I love this climb, this is really nice. And, huh? Oh! 
there's no wall. Ah, that's that's gonna be really nice and random. Just load heat, go to the heavy corner. And we have some castle climbs too. Like I have no idea why, but they kept the castle climbs intact while removing climbs like E9 and B3. Like B3 is so useless for randoms and this castle climb is actually pretty damn useful. If you can get up, like this is super easy. You can be here um, at the same time the enemy lights are all are here or the mediums, but you'll take one or two shots and then be safe for the rest of the game. And basically have shots on the heavy tanks, on the middle, on this entire flank. Get a hull down tank, like probably a crown wagon should be possible. Get it up, have some fun. Um, what I'm showing here is just alternatives to the castle climbs. I wouldn't advise this one. This one is way too open, or like it's late gaming. They're like with five tanks left on the other flank, like on the on the eight nine line, you know, and you have to flank them or <laughs> oh, flank the new meta. I know, right? Flank them with a mountain. And uh, that the same goes for the, uh, the third castle climb or for this one. I mean. Like, it's nice to show that it's still there. <laughs> it's really finicky getting along this ridge. But it's nice to push the physics to its limits. But other than that, yeah. It's a, just a matter of time, probably like next patch, that this get patched. This is one of those climbs that you can use to get an edge when they're camping a bit too much and you want to have one free shot or two free shots. You can just sit here and like, hey, hello. And luckily, the shortcuts are still there. Like, the, the true climbing potential of this map might have been gone to waste, but at least the super broken E9 is gone, and that's, I think, a good thing for every one of us. Because it was just way too overpowered. But at least they kept this, uh, these E3 climbs in touch, like the shortcuts. Which is really nice to get some quick shots on enemies that are unsuspecting, or whatever. And that just gives you that nice little edge. Usually with your damage you just be like, oh, if only I could could have gotten one or two shots more. In, uh, in a game, then these are your options. Like these are the moments where you can have those one or two extra shots in. And that's not RNG, that's just purely knowing the map, knowing what to do. And you have to be non knowledgeable about the map and uh, you have to predict when you can take advantage of these sort of events that can occur. And this is me going up the other way pretty damn useless but it's funny that you need speed to get up here and I believe I ruined it here yeah yeah I did but you get the idea <laughs> oh oh and now here we go here we go this is the moment after 10 minutes this is E9 with the enormous rock <laughs> trying to go around it but it's too steep you can't turn your tank there's not enough of room and yeah, as you can see it's too slippery, you just slide up. Unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. As I'm going to try to show you guys. Oh man. This requires like the, the right angle to maintain your speed and get enough height. As you can see, just Ah, barely, barely. Getting spotted. <gasps> oh wait, no, it's just a training room. And after I tried that once, there's still another way. And you were like, what? Really? I'm like, yeah, really. Really? Really. And that's okay. It just requires a lot of wiggling. Now the easy way would be to get more speed to get higher up here, but... You know, in uh, randoms... I don't think you can do this, but that, I think you're like vulnerable from behind. Like you're way up top. Yeah, yeah, no. Don't try this in randoms like this. 
do it do it the uh, the other way. I just try to do it do it with the speed one. So that's nice. And dropping down. Whatever. If I don't get it this time, I'm gonna edit it. Cause power of editing. You guys don't have to wait. Nope. Okay, we'll edit that out. Yay! Let's have some fun here. Shoop the whoop. So, we're still at F2, which is nice. And what I've heard is that you can also get up here. So, I don't want to try it. That I'll leave that for another time. But one of the best things, or one of the few good things, is H1 that you can still get up here. Which is really nice if you want a base camp like a real pro. And don't get your tank stuck halfway, son, please. Thank you, thank you, nice. You're a real pro goat. So you can still base camp from this side, which is cool, I guess. You just have to spot early that nobody is going uh, on the other flank, and then you can just hide here and never lose the game unless you die. And luckily, the bottom line, what? The J line is still up for grabs. You can still go anywhere you like here. Which is luck. Yeah. What can I say? Which is nice. And... Oh, well, not like that. That was pretty bad. Let's try that again. Ah, and then I figure it out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I feel like an old grandpa, like, uh, How do I do this again? And then I have to remember it. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The summer of 86. Yes, I remember. But, okay. I want to take the time to appreciate everyone that has supported me the last year. Because I've been active now for a little over, over a year on YouTube. I started out climbing, uh, thinking everything would be alright to make the community aware that there's another way of playing this game. Uh, what I think is more competitive and yeah, just another, adds more depth and skill to the game, but uh, Wargaming decided against it, which is nothing I can do about it, really. I can just bend over and just take it, and I'm not the kind of guy that wants to, like, Put the company in a negative light or yeah just want to kick against certain ideas of the company itself and yeah therefore if they don't want climbing to be a part of their game then i think we just have to accept that and have fun whatever we can um point out where the game is still broken and perhaps help create a better game in the vision of wargaming even though we all have our own visions, of course. And I think their vision sucks, but yeah. I would have liked something more. More than just the corridor gameplay. The, oh, we don't have any weak spots for heavy tanks, just load gold and <laughs> go through the front. But that's me. If only they made climbing more accessible to more tanks and balance it. But there's nothing we can do about it. Just follow, perhaps help war gaming a bit, and that should do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll make sure to get the maps done and keep you up to date on patched climbs. I have access to the sandbox and want to see the improved maps for myself, and if allowed, make videos about that. Have a great day.